Good morning, everybody. Now, these are the husky tones of a half past six wake up call from the children on a Saturday. So, um, enjoy. I thought I may as well just um, do something productive whilst I was awake. And I have got this clip of me sculpting an extreme length stiletto nail. Now, Kelly Sanfords from Kel's Nails came to me on Friday and we did a look and learn. She basically wanted a set of nails. She wanted me to talk through and show her how I do my thing. And she wanted a sculpted super long stiletto set. So this is what we're going to do. And I will get the design up for you as well. So first of all, I'm going to sculpt a clear base. So I've got that lovely platform to design on. I struggle to create everything upon the form. So I create a clear base, I will file it and then I'll go in and design again. I do it that way because although my application is nice and thin, if it's slightly higher on one side, or, um, you know, or if there's a lump or a bump, or if it, you know, it's just not even, that will show throughout the whole design. If your design is slightly higher on one side, so will your coloured acrylic, so will your glitter, so will your encapsulated layer. And then when you go to file, because that one side's always been a little bit higher, you go and you file your design out. And we've all done that, I've done that loads of times. So I feel that when I go in and I file it back down super smooth and, and make it even thinner, then that really does help my design. It Overall, it just looks so much nicer when I do it this way. Right, so I'm placing that first bead right at the free edge of this nail, okay? I do not care about the shape or the length at this stage. I've got Kelly's hand elevated on the bath aid that I use. The bath aid is something, just a bath step. Lots of people are using things now, but I keep the hand elevated so that gravity can pull product down. So that first bead, like I say, I don't care where that goes because gravity can pull it down. All I care about is making sure that I cover the two stress areas on this nail, which is the side of the free edge. If it's going to snap, that is where it's going to be. It's going to be my fault because I haven't placed enough product at those two points. So I make sure I cover those first and then I concentrate on walking that bead down to the length that I desire or my client desires. So it doesn't matter if I only pull this to a two. It doesn't matter if I have to go in with four, five, six, ten, fifteen beads. Nobody's going to know about it. So don't get hung up on watching um, techs who do it in one bead and they just blah, 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 blah. They pull it all the way down and they make it look amazing. It really doesn't matter. You don't know the journey that they've been on. They might have been somebody who needed to put in 15 beads. I'll put a few in. It doesn't matter. So just get there in any way that you have to. But don't stress about how many beads it takes you. Um, today I'm using as well, I'm using the Kirsty Meekin forms. Um, I do have my own forms coming out. Um, but if I had the choice to use any other forms, it's going to be hers. They are so bloody strong and beautiful. Um, and, and they're Kirsty Meekin, so, you know, we can't complain. They're amazing. I really would recommend them. Um, so yeah, this one, we're going to have an extended nail bed on it. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to create the length. I'm going to do the free edge of that nail. And then, like you've seen, I've gone in and done a clear bed on the natural nail. We're not going to do that because I know it's going to have a reversed, um, nail bed on it. I can just go in and create that. Gosh, this is like, um my phone sex voice isn't it after this I, I have to get on the line and do my other job as a phone sex worker i am lying please please don't believe me but these husky tones it's defo working i haven't even had a cup of tea yet this is it i just thought right the kids have woke me let's get on let's do this let's do something productive so right i'm gonna go in now with the plush cover from glitter bells I've told you, it's my favourite. Boom. Stick it on. Use the tip of the brush to make sure the back of that bead is nice and flush. And then you're going to use the belly of it to pull that product down. And the sides will tailor it up 
okay? So using the sides to tailor it up will make sure that you create that wall that you will push any design up to. So the sides push it up, the belly pull it down, okay? Make sure that you leave that wall, you need that wall, you need a certain height to push up against, okay? Literally all I'm doing now, you watch me sculpt a stiletto, I'm just sculpting an almond shaped nail. So if you can sculpt, don't be put off by doing an extended nail because you are just sculpting an almond nail. Next one is where my apex is going to go. Tip of my brush just makes the back of that bead nice and flush. Pull down the side walls and then just paint, 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 paint. Painting is literally like painting. When I walk, it's step by step by step by step. Cuticle, tip of the brush makes it nice and flush. <laughs> yes, I should get t-shirts with that printed. The brush makes a nice and flush. Tap, tap, wipe, and a tap, tap, wipe. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I had to cut off, off and have a little giggle to myself. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I make myself pop a chortle. Oh, right, my brew's ready as well. So I am going to go. I'm going to go. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, if you don't, please do. It, it'd make me weekend. It'd make me week. Make getting up this early proper worth it. So um, thanks for watching. I will get this design up. If you head over to my Instagram, you will see it already. It's fucking awesome. It's amazing. It's lovely. Really, really nice. Um, we've gone for a dark mermaid nice it's really lovely um so please subscribe like comment and yeah thanks i'll get that design up to you super soon just gotta download it from the iCloud so it could take 17 days okay i love you all bye bye Mwah.